hi friends let's see the app we are going to develop in the next couple of lessons when you run this app this is this is the main option screen you will see a menu which is on a table view so i can click on uh, say employee options then it will load this data and all the employee data are loaded dynamically from a data source right and then i can click on uh, uh, employee and then it's dynamically changing this page with that particular employee and the projects if i go back and click another employee you can see the same page is dynamically changing with that employee and the projects which are all loaded dynamically the images are also loaded dynamically from a data source right so it's different images loaded dynamically and then i can delete employees let's say i can swipe and say delete then it deletes the data right if not i can click on edit and say if i want to delete something click on this and click edit uh, sorry delete right and when i'm done i can say done right and then further i can insert data dynamically let us say a, a section p and say peter for example and click ok so it all it all gets added dynamically right then once i'm done with employees i can go scroll down right and then i can uh, Mm, go into department options right so department and see the, do the same thing for department right so, but it's very important that you have to make sure to look at the next couple of lectures in this uh, on table views that is part one two three etc until we complete this app it explains all the theory and the practical knowledge which you need to know about developing this app right okay friends we are very excited to show you how to develop this app practically and let's do it now. Okay friends, so the following is the outcome of this part of the lesson. When you complete this part of the lesson, your app will look like this. Until you complete the other parts of the lesson, it will load a list of employees dynamically, right? And it will divide them into sections. But the difference of this and the previous lesson is, the previous lesson was using dynamic table view controllers, right? Whereas this lesson, is using dynamic table view so there's a difference and just make sure to have a look at till the end of the lesson but after you complete this lesson make sure to go and look at the next lessons in order to complete the full lab demonstrated earlier and this clearly so what you do now is you go to in your view controller that you are telling you are going to confirm to them now you go to the view controller at m right when you go to the view controller maybe it says class view controller does not confirm to the protocol ui uh, table view data source because now you are telling you want to confirm to the ui table view data source but you have not overridden the compulsory methods because there are some required methods you have to override when you are confirming to the ui table view data source that is why xcode is telling you that your class is not confirming to the data source so if you click here right you can get the help of Xcode and say fix this and add, add the stubs for the missing protocols, right? So it's easy for you to click the fix and then it see it added, it adds the stubs, right? Meaning it adds the uh, methods coming under UI table view data source and the daily delegate. Now I don't need all of them, right? I don't need all of these methods. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment now uh, you you know based on uh, our previous lessons you know that you have to uh, you have to have this one cell forward index part the number of rows in section right right you need those ones right and okay maybe not this one now maybe not this one maybe not this one container right okay so so maybe so i don't need the these ones for now so i'm going to come in that right Right, I'm going to come in this, this code. So if you are not using the latest Xcode version and for some reason, if you don't get that yellow color warning and the fix, uh, you know, fix option, uh, we recommend you to install the latest Xcode so that you will, you will get all these automatic fix and automatic generation of this skeleton code, right? So we recommend you to install the latest Xcode, uh, whatever the Xcode version we are using in this, right? Okay, awesome. Now, so cell for row at index path, right? So you remember, uh, and the number of rows uh, uh, in this section, right? Number of rows. Okay, so what we will do is, guys, rather than typing everything from the scratch, because we have already done a previous project uh, using the dynamic approach, right? So we already did one project using a couple, few projects using table view controllers, dynamic content, UI table view controller, part five. So I'm going to open that project and, and get the code we did uh, in, in 
in table view dynamic content ui table view controller part 5 right so make sure you look at that lesson before you look at this lesson so i'm going to open that project and borrow the borrow the code okay so i opened that project also so now i got the two projects this is the one you see here is the one i'm writing now and this is what we completed in one of our previous lessons right so you remember we had the sections uh, we had the employee names and we had the images right and you we had these methods number of sections then number of rows and self row so i'm going to use this code to, to because the code is the same the, the the concept is what is slightly different and then i need the images isn't it right so i'm going to add the images here right so i'm going to create a new group called images right in this new project right then i'm going to add the the images into this right okay my friend so make sure you also add some images right awesome right add the images so i have them in place right and now let's copy the code and uh, add them here right awesome also in this auto generated code i don't see that method uh, what i already saw in our previous exercises which is number of sections in table view right so i need that because i need the number of sections so i'm going to go to this project and just type it right when you type it here number of sections you will see that coming here populated right so just double click on this and xcode will make sure that it it adds that part right awesome awesome friends now let's let's do uh, very much the same thing what we did uh, in the previous case right so we will go to the view controller edge and in this we will create the instance uh, method so let me just keep it here right so this project okay so and then th this is our previous one guys right so you remember i had these three instance variables so i'm i'm doing the same thing right isn't it i'm doing the same thing so i'm going to copy this right uh, the uh, the the array declarations and then in our uh, previous project in the view did load right we uh, assign the initial data so i'm going to assign the initial data guys in the view did load right but the difference is guys in the previous case right this was a table view controller right subclass of a table view custom class of a table view control but this one is just a view controller that's the difference right i explained this and in the theory right awesome and then the uh, next important method is the number of sections right so what we are going to tell is i'm going to explain it again as a help for you so i'm going to tell okay whatever the count of this right is the number of sections i want right and then uh, each section should have a title so that you remember a header we did that in the previous example title for header in section right so that method let me search whether it's here let me search in this new project right so control f no it's not there right so if you just type it it should just come because you saw that right so if i say title see it's there title for header in section right so i'm just double clicking it and i'm going to get that also then from our previous project i'm just getting from the array i'm getting the relevant section right so we have already discussed this in the previous project right awesome just the project before this right in this lesson series so i got the list of uh, sections so so if you are just looking at this video make sure before this you look at the previous videos otherwise you can't understand this video right it's okay my friend right awesome and then what you have to do next is uh, you have to write the number of rows in the section right so let's put them in a nice order right so let's it's it's okay to have it in any order but i prefer to say okay the number of sections then number of rows and why not also say put this also to the top right so that you know these are the headings of each section and then we have to write the number of rows so you remember in the previous project right we calculated the number of rows based on again the list of employee names we got the sec each section and we return the count for each 
section right so number of rows so have a look at that previous code so what i'm doing is number of rows in section is array list of employee names that means this list of employee names then getting each section because when this method is called number of rows in each section it's passing the section number so i can use that as a parameter and i can access that section uh, from this array whether it's zero or one or two based on that after actually i'm getting the count so if it's zero then the count how many columns are here? that's two so if it's one then the count is three here then it's, it's this one the count is two so i'm getting the count so it dynamically populates right awesome then finally the self for row at index path my friends right self for row at index path that's also that also we have written it right so first of all you need to have a uh, identifier very important look at the when you look at the previous lines. so i i have to give this simple identifier once again i have to make sure that i have to go to storyboard and i have to click on the table view right and i have to go to the uh, okay this thing so let's click on the table view and now one thing very important right i got a table view but i don't have the cells isn't it my friends right so how many cells i have to say how many cells i need right so that i could i have to do it right so I have to click on the table view and say, okay, how many cells do I want? Let's say one, right? So I said one, one cell, right? One prototype cell, right? The moment you put that, see, you get the table view cell, right? For that cell is what you put the reusable identifier. You can put anything, but I just put simple identifier. Okay, my friends, right? And then in the cell for what index part, this is where the, the each cell is populated with the data. You refer to that simple identifier. Then from your table view, which is you are getting as a parameter here, you will DQ and get the cells. This is for efficiency, right? And this is like a standard line. So look at our previous lesson for you to understand this. Please have a look at the previous lesson once again, if you can't remember this. Then you have to configure the cell. You have to set the text. So the text you are getting from that uh, array list, which is at the... So let me copy this code into the new project and explain, right? Because we have already done it okay so then we'll go to our view controller.m right awesome right and then just here right cell for all at index path i'm going to put it so our simple identifier then from the table view right this table view parameter i'm going to dq and create the cell and for the cell i'm going to put the text from array list employee names which is this right employee names and it has rows and columns so i'm in in that is in the array but in the table view it's it's sections and rows so I'm getting the section, passing the section and the row and getting the relevant data, detail text, right? And the image, right? So what is this detail text? I have to make sure that that's also there. So I have to go to the view controller, main storyboard, look at my uh, cell and look at the properties. And I had to give a style. So I'm going to say uh, subtitle, right? So I get like a title and a subtitle, right? Awesome, right? So now basically that's what I'm telling. This is the title, this, this is like the subtitle, right? So the text for the title is I'm getting, getting from the array list of employee names, then thumb, subtitle is something detail. Then I'm getting the images, right? Once again, the images I have in a uh, array, uh, right? I got in array. Okay, let's look at this. That is uh, this one, right? It, in this array. Awesome, my friends. So. So we have got it, We and then we uh, get the image name, then we create a UI image, then we put that into the cell image. So what is this image view? That is once again, just to show you, if you go to storyboard, if you expand this, right, you will see there's an image as well, right? So because, see, if I want an image in this, I can, I can, I can specify image, right? So I can say, okay, I want uh, one of the images. So let me say, Temporarily, while I'm designing this, let's say I want this image, right? So now you've got an image as well. I'm just showing you, right? Right? But this will be dynamically updated, right? That's what I'm we are doing here, right? So so for that cell image, we are getting this dynamic image, right? So things looks okay, right? Let's compile and see what's 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 the result. Let's build it. Right? Let's see whether it's built successful or built failed, right? will succeed let's run and see guys right so let's just run this and see what's what's the result of this right awesome friends right so it works right so why is this very fast now why how 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 were we able to do it fast that is because 
before this lesson we completed uh, uh, le uh, uh, five lessons on table views dynamic content you have table view controller right we did part one part two pa up to part five now what i did in this project is i used that code right as you also i i ref i refer to that project and i copied the code because we have already done it right that is how we were able to we were able to get this outcome very quickly right and just to recall a few things if i if i change uh, the number of uh, section headers right if i say one then if only one then the count here of the header tiles will be one so i will i will i will see only one uh, section just remind re recalling you know we did this in the uh, previous c it's it's only one right so if i undo this right and then let's say if i keep only two sections then what will happen you know because we discussed so now the section titles dot count header title is two so because i have only two so it will show only two so this is how you dynamically deal with this situation my friends right so you got the three sections and then so and then how do you put the data you again put them into multi-dimensional arrays so section afg why is it afg because it's AFG, then you put the data into multi-dimensional arrays and the images into multi-dimensional arrays. You added the images, right? Awesome, right? And then you uh, override this method number of sections. You gave the you count you counted the list of section header titles. This one and you counted it as three. Then over here the number of rows you counted. You took each section from this list of names. Then you counted dynamically. So it's two here, it's three here. Like so, it, it does that automatically because this method will get called automatically uh, many number of times, right? It it gets called many number of times, and it will find this dynamically. Then you gave titles for the sections. Then you created cell and use a reusable identifier, and you did it uh, in this manner, right? So this is the same what we did in the previous exercise as well. But this time the difference is in the previous project we use a, a subclass of if you look at this it's a sub custom class of ui table view controller but in this project right if you look at your view controller it's not a ui table view controller it's just a view controller it's just a view controller that's the difference right uh, whereas the earlier one was a table view controller so what's the advantage of this the advantage of this approach right is you can have a table view with some other items right you can have a table view with some other items right so let's do that in the next practical right so i will show you that you can have this with some other items as well like labels buttons and things like that right so let's have a look at that in our next lesson right but before that let's see whether we have covered uh, everything for this section right so we discuss everything as this this uh, uh, as you know plan very quickly the difference now you, you should see the clear difference right so in the previous lessons we use ui table view controller and in this one we use ui table view now recall in this exercise we did not use a ui table view controller we we use ui table views now if you ask from us why uh, why the two approaches what's the difference that i will show in the next lesson right immediately in the dynamic content uh, table views dynamic content your table view part two right this is part one let's i will explain it in part two but now you saw the difference is you you still you in both the approaches you will you will be uh, overriding the methods of your table view data source and uh, the delegate right uh, data source and delegate uh, and one more thing guys now i did not override the methods in the ui uh, uh, table view delegate right though i though i said that i'm going to confirm to it i did not use any of the methods because for that we we do it in the in the in the in the next lesson which is uh, table views dynamic content event handling right so i'm not going to do the event handling in this lesson i'm going to do it in the next lesson right so i i focused only on the ui table view data source protocol right and you learned all this right you required you are right you use multi-dimensional arrays and the conclusion is we learn all those reference we use is apple developer docs and what's next so you have to look at our other lessons uh, and practicals on uh, table view dynamic content right uh, because we have a few more things like such as event handling and stuff like that and also have a look at our other videos on objective ca to z uh, right also make sure to have a look at uh, our other series on machine learning artificial intelligence data science and iot because that's where the future is my friends right 
So uh, we are very excited to see you in another lesson and until then.